No, I love those looks, Billy. Like, right. okay. But seriously, guys, I know that's tough to say the word. There's a lot of ways you could go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. What's the importance of what are we trying to do? Keep your time. Keep your time, yeah. And what was it about the accents? The accents and how in relation to keeping our time. What are we trying to do? Yep, distributing the accents. And, and really what we're trying to do is, is your sense of timing and rhythm needs to be distributed more. So we, have sen we have a sense of people refer to strong and weak beats. I don't like that terminology because it, it might be less familiar beats, but it's not weak. It's like people say, I got a weak left hand. Well, you know, sure, we all do. You know, I can only lift 25 pounds, you know, until I do some curls and work on it. You know, that's the same thing. It's the principle here. You got to work your brain. Um, those of you that, how many are in high school drumline or have been a dead high school drumline, any involvement, right? Please, by all means, hands, you know, or any kind of involvement, or, or hope to do high school drumline. Cool, there you go. That's the, lots, lots of the future are the better when, how many do the studio percussion have done any of the community lines? Hey, black? Aha! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> See, that's what we're trying to do is one of the toughest things, right, for when you get involved is the feet. You know, the whole left, right, please don't make those stops so I can play whatever it is over the top of it. Keep them going, keep them going. Jeff, did you do drumline when you were at East Side of the Virginia? No, you were rocking this too busy gig. <laughs> and play basketball. <laughs> The, uh, that idea with basically, if you, the, you know, isolating the pulse is that we're trying to find the points of rhythm that we that are tough for us. I, that tempo right there, I would never say to you, hey, let's start right there at 111 beats per minute and start trying to count. But you slow that down, maybe, and put put a triplet on. And I'm thinking to myself, literally, and I'm trying to get where I can feel that pulse. What musical style uses this one is like the whole backbone of this. I'm sorry, I keep talking. What's your name? Peter. Peter, I'm talking like that's why I'm doing Peter the one to one drum clinic. <laughs> so I apologize. Let me pick up pick someone over here. What 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 musical style does that uses triplets? Well there's several. You know, the reggae we talked about. What else uses triplets really heavily? It's a it's like a the American music style. Yes. What is it? Yes. Thank you. Excellent. Jazz, right? I mean it's it's the American style that is if you, you listen to this. See, I see you figure it because believe me, guys, I'm just, I always get I'm nervous, or probably more nervous than any of you would be to do this. So I was kind of involved or back. back. What, what was I doing? I went from kind of a real slow triple E thing, then went kind of like a medium swing thing. What's, what do you think? Remember this? We're talking about with the styles, like those Groove Essentials posters. That's believe me, hint, hint, that's where I'm ripping it off from. Uh -huh. Like this one with this guy. Style, does that kind of make you start thinking about it? Hip right. Hip hop, or uh, you know, like for anybody, like again, you know, that's uh, the reason I keep deferring to Jeff on this is because he's done a ton of playing in funk settings and all these different. I mean, you've done it like like a lot of the go go type styles. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, they're again modern musical styles that have appropriated from jazz. You're finding now there's a lot of that triplety feel implied, but it's much more subtle. And the last thing I was kind of going to is I went from, when I was going from this. I'm kind of inferring there where it's a part of it's part of the country that is just getting back on its feet. New Orleans, New Orleans right? Second line. People heard like Harry Connick Jr. Guys, come on in too, please. Don't do, by all means. Don't make so comfortable. Um, that that style that is probably one of my favorite favorite musical styles. How, I mean, anybody who how many how many been to New Orleans? There? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's great to see the city coming back and what's happening with those guys. But if you ever if you get a chance to check out. You know, just go online. You know, those of you that maybe aren't jazz fans, please by all means check out Wynton Marsalis and the Lincoln Center. Uh, what's it called? The Jazz. I forget their 
it's, it's their Lincoln Center Jazz program. Used to, if you went to Marsalis, you'll get it. It's right at the top. They do incredible stuff on all these musical styles, and they are the fundamentals, whether you realize it or not, when you're checking out Mastodon or you're checking out all these modern rock groups, if you follow it back far enough on the lineage, it's, you're going back to places like New Orleans, Kansas City, Memphis, those music, these, these musical forms that really are the pioneers of what we know, because anybody knows who Chuck Berry is? Okay? Chuck Berry is rock and roll. I mean, man, you know, we can all talk about Elvis and stuff, but you can't have Elvis without all these other musicians who pioneered that style and it was brought, you know, brought to masses. Again, we could, I could do like a five-hour thing on that. I'm not going to go there. But point being, this drum style, this second line, is it refers to basically like the marches. It used to be marching bass drum and snare. It wasn't a drum set. And it's, it's normally, it was what was played on the way back from a funeral in New Orleans. They, they play a dirge, a very sad thing on the way, carrying the person to, the, to their grave. And then everyone would celebrate, kind of like the idea of like, well, let's celebrate their life. And on the way out, they, they play very, you know, there's a lot of famous songs that would go with it from that period. But this basic idea of... Can we clap that rhythm one day? Right? Modulation, that idea of kind of cycling over the beat little bits at a time. But that rhythm, can anyone tell me what that rhythm's called? Clap. Yeah, Bionics, where is it? Clap. There you go, Sean. <laughs> There's a lot of variations on that rhythm, but that's a very, very important African timeline. That rhythm came over with people. I mean, it's a very unfortunate way that it made it here through slavery, but it is, it is the origins from when you look for African timelines of... To go back into Central Africa, Ghana, and a lot of these places, you find there's these ancient musical histories, ancient drumming histories. I mean, we're talking, you know, thousand years, two thousand years back. But these, the, the, the traditions of hand drumming and those types of and call and response as, as a means of communication, and that's what we've appro that that has come into a musical style here in the United States, where it's kind of been appropriated and brought into every music. How many of you guy lives right out of, outside of town? He's really, really, really famous. He's one of the Hall of Fame the rock and roll. Anybody can tell me here. Bo Diddley. There's your clave rhythm. Mm -hmm. 